April Fools. <laughs> I got you. I bet you thought I fatally stabbed myself in the chest. Uh, nope. Uh, just punctured the lung, suckers. Man, I love pranks. I especially love pranking my best friend slash mortal enemy, Dark Ninja. I call him DK for short. The extra K is for kills dudes with his fists and feet. Anyway, DK's a moron and falls for every prank in the book. Razor wire on the toilet seat, 600 poison dart frogs delivered to his home, the whoopee cushion, you know, all the regulars. Huh. Can't seem to stop this bleeding here. <laughs> anyway, as fun as pranks are, it is possible to take them too far, and it brings us to the life lesson of the day. You can't prank a dead guy. Now me and DK have been best buds ever since we starred in the first Dark Ninja movie together. Dark Ninja 1, here comes some shit. We also try to murder each other like twice a week, but that's just what good friends do. Anyway, I've been pranking DK for years and it was time to step up my game. It started out like any other April Fools, with me framing DK for murder. He wakes up with various dead hookers and politicians strewn about his bedroom, he freaks out, almost takes his own life and I come in laughing my head off. And then we eat breakfast. Now here comes the fun part. After slipping a poison dart frog into his cereal, he's distracted just enough for me to get a DNA sample off him. Then I take that to the lab, splice it with some dinosaur DNA, slap it on another poison dart frog, and jam that frog down his throat. After running to the sink to rinse out his mouth, and falling for yet another prank, he starts to feel a little queasy. Was it from eating the two poison dart frogs? Or maybe it's the mutant DNA coursing through his body. Nope, it's from me replacing the city's water supply with high-powered laxatives. So now DK has to run to the bathroom to spend a couple smelly hours on the toilet, but not before falling victim to yet another prank. While DK is in the bathroom, the mutant DNA starts to violently change his body. He explodes out of the bathroom and is about to tear me limb from limb, but that's when I calmly tell him it's just a prank and the antidote is in this tablet. By the time he realized it was trick gum, I ran for cover to watch him destroy the city. Eventually, the rage subsided, his body turned back to normal, and he passed out in the street. I was about to put his hand in some warm water so he'd piss his pants, thus completing my ultimate prank, but I realized he was dead. I was completely devastated. April Fools was ruined. I guess the prank was really on me. Or maybe DK, or the city, or anyone who drank the water, whatever. Well, I hope you all learned something from today's life lesson. You can't prank a dead guy. Now, don't worry about DK. He's seriously impossible to kill. He's like uh, Wolverine or Keith Richards. Right, DK? That's right, asshole. I had to dig myself out of another grave thanks to you. Uh, Carl? You seem to be bleeding an awful lot for a week day. Oh, I'm fine. I'll just jam a paper towel in there or some shit. That's it for this week, but I'll leave you with Carl. <laughs> huh. Just put it in here. Dick. KFK.